What is going on, Nissan Nation? It's your buddy Dave, and this is your Nissan Nation podcast update. And uh, we have a good one. So we promised you that coming week, this coming week, that uh, the Nissan Titan would be rolling out, and they were going to show it at the Texas uh, State Fair. And we told you this a, probably a month or so ago. Like I've known this for quite a while that this is where they were going to premiere it. It seems to be the hotbed for all the truck companies now. They want to. They want to premiere their uh, their big bad trucks because Texas is the home of truck, man. So if you if you got a truck there and you want it to get to the widest audience initially, that's where you do it. You don't do like Chevrolet and you start rolling it out at a hockey rink and then it won't start up after they rolled it out there and what a mess that was. So, anyways, it's on the board. Tomorrow, can you see it? Is it washed out? Anyways, tomorrow at 10, 15 a.m., Nissan is rolling out their truck. The Titan, the I will say, call it a Gen Point uh, 2.5 because it's not really a, it's not a re, it's not a new new truck, but it's a refresh. So they've done this in the past with the Frontier, um, with the Generation One Frontier. They let it roll for a few years and refreshed it. And same with the Xterra. It's kind of what they do with the truck line. I, we always call it like a half, a half generation. So, but what are we going to see tomorrow? So that's that's kind of up in the air at the moment. So. Obviously, you're going to get a, a good idea of the vehicle. You're going to get to see, oh, here's the changes, and I'm sure they'll talk about basic changes that they've done, whether it be the new the new nine inch screen or the the new um, kind of grill LED lights all over it. Thank God they're uh, not just doing the lights at the bottom. They've actually put the bottom the fog lights as LEDs this time too, because that was the strangest thing when you see white lights, pretty white lights, and then these kind of old yellow looking lights. So. I don't know who missed the ball on that one, but somebody did. Anyways, so, but they're going to do something kind of all next week. So next Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, they are going to premiere a truck. I'm not, this is all I have the details right now. This is all my buddy Wendy over there at Nissan would tell me. But, so, let's see. What they, they've got, they're going to launch the, the Pro 4X, the Titan Pro 4X, the Platinum Reserve, and the Titan SL. So, I think what we are going to see is in the past that Nissan has, uh, they've had, like, you could seem like you could get an SL with everything a Pro 4 had except for maybe the locker. I think that they're going to actually make these packages packages now. And I know I know Nissan's talked about it in the past where they wanted to kind of just, let's kind of clean up our, uh, our, our products in the models in each product. So I think we're going to start seeing that with the Titan a little bit. But I'm super pumped that we're going to get to see the next Titan. I don't know about you guys. Uh, you guys always DM us like crazy about this truck, and uh, I try to give you everything I know about it without getting in too much trouble. So, anyway, so tell us what you think about the next Titan. Uh, are you are you excited? Are you going to watch on social media? Uh, generally, they do these on Facebook. I think they'll probably do it on Instagram as well. They'll probably do like a simulcast on that. So, you've kind of seen the teaser of it. What's it going to be? I'm thinking the the Pro 4X is going to, they're going to change the package slightly, kind of make it more of an off-road package. I hope, fingers crossed, and I have no idea on this, I hope you change the tires. Put something off-road worthy on that truck. Don't give us these general tires that don't even look as cool as normal AT tires. Anyways, that's my that's my thing, please. But I know that like the tow hooks and stuff, they're all going to start bad. They're going to be red and they're kind of going down that Jeep path a little bit. And why not? Jeep knows how to if you're going to brand something and you're going to make it unique, Jeep has that. Like ever since they came out with the Rubicon and the Safari and all that, they knew how to here's how you make a truck look special. So, once again, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, why not? What is holding you back? All you got to do is push that button right there. Just bam, or is it over there, or is it up here? Who knows? But just push that button, and if you're special, if you don't feel special, click the uh, click the bell, and uh, as soon as I do these videos and they drop, you get the latest and greatest. But I like a good debate. Tell me in the comments below what you think is going to happen tomorrow, and what's, are, are we right? Has the has the podcast been right on a lot of things? So, hmm, we've broke news before. A lot of uh, journalists get to break news, and um, that's all I'm saying is. So, this is your Nissan Nation podcast, and uh, till next time, till tomorrow, we'll do this tomorrow, and we'll uh, we'll discuss the what we see. So, from all things Nissan here in my house, next to my refrigerator and family pictures, and. And these cool things, these off-road gorilla magnets. I, this is not a paid product endorsement, but we got a few of these. 
I think over the years, but little koozies, you know, you just, oh, oh, oh let's try it again. Bam, stick straight to your door. So, oh, and also, if you notice the lighting, you know, we dropped the, the CVT lighting. I'm using them as my lights right now. So as uh, to give me a little more, a little more of that. So anything, anyways, all things Nissan here in Middle Tennessee. To wherever you watch us here on YouTubeville, this is your Nissan Nation podcast update, and I'm your host, David Boyd.